up, me and go see, like, them go so bam and go in a one, like an apartment complex and park up and we a smoke. Mm -hmm. So, me and see one black Jeep, one black van just roll up, whoosh, and black half a car. Yo, yo, get out, get out the car! I always tell the truth. Even when I lie. Yeah, man, people, as you can see, that's recording dancehall artists. So Marco sharing his story of the first time he got locked up struggling in music and also almost not being able to get his citizenship in America. Yeah man, really, really dope stuff here guys and really interesting story here guys. We have more coming up in the update. Also, we have dancehall artist Massacre sharing a preview of his up and coming album Great Generation of Kings. Yeah man gang, we have more of that, of, of more of more information on that as well as he took to Instagram to share a post yeah, of, of his yeah, up and coming album as the, the name and as well as a little preview uh, of a track. So we have a little bit more from the story. So if you're new to the channel, if you've been been watching and haven't subscribed as yet, please take this moment, take that like and subscribe button, become part of the family, become part of the Dan Mafia so you can get the latest and hardest update going on in our culture. Yeah man. Moving right along on the update, first up we got DeMarco speaking of his difficulties in music first time he got locked up and how it almost cost him his citizenship. Let's take a look. And then now, I end up um, get locked up. Yeah. I thought you were out there cutting the people's grass. And no, that stopped a long time after. Yeah. yeah you know. Yeah. That star, no. Yeah, you know what I'm mean, saying? A grass thing going on. Yeah. What was this like now? Was this your first experience getting locked up? No. <laughs> <laughs> Brother, I'm going Yo, you know, you ever hear a thing called, you ever hear a thing called Scared Street? Yes. I'll Scared Street, I'm going now. When we are ju juvenile, you know. Because <laughs> yeah. it be a trouble, you know, we get locked up and the, and the judge, them, them said I'm going Scared Street. And, you know, they're in a prison and the people ever try to scare you. Yeah. If you say, no, come here. <laughs> well, I, so you're not, this is a real story. Like you really yeah. went to scared straight. Yeah, I did. And it didn't work. No. No. <laughs> yeah, well. well. Well, okay. So then now this time you're in the music. Mm -hmm. You're producing, you're writing. You got a song for Wronghead. But then... You end up getting locked up. What was that period like in your life, getting locked up at this time here now, where you think you're about to achieve your dream? I you know, say the way I get locked up is a weird. Hey, them time I'm still at work, still in a car. I was working for um, John Hopkins Hospital, so I was okay. You no, know, but I look at work, my dietary me there working out. So right. one idea them I come in, but my never have um. I never have a wall charger, right? So I have a car charger. Because I never have a car, but something happened to it and I forget where that. But I never have no wall charger. So I call my friend him now. Mm -hmm. And I say, yo, I need for I need for charge my phone and t you know? So I can't have my phone charged for tomorrow. So they come link me. Mm -hmm. I plug up my phone and I can where I drive around and I'm a smoke and be a thing and Yo, me am go see. Like, them go so bam and go in a one, like an apartment complex and park up and we a smoke. Mm -hmm. So, me see one black Jeep, one black van just roll up, whoosh, and black half a car. Yo, yo, get out, get out the car. So, when me I hear that now, me I say, okay, you could hear everything good. Mm -hmm. You to see the me there in the back seat and the next you, they beside me. Me young see man just go say, ease up. up. Him gone out time all time we and go and put it in a, between me and him so <laughs> and take your bag and put over it. I say, sure. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I say everything, I say yo, I say everything gone, maybe yo, my job machine, everything, yo, everything just gone. Me I say, Jesus Christ, look how the money I get me deported right now. And the police them go so bam now and take me out now and go so move the bag and you go on, go on, everybody get out of the fucking go. Here we go. Well, with the pan ground later on till them go so bam on, put the, the tie strap one way and put up on the, the, the curve to sit down. And I ask, yo, um, whose gun is it? Mm -hmm. Nobody not talk. Whose gun is it? So you would say, yo, it's mine. Mm -hmm. I say, finally, I'm gonna 
But the man said, but the police said, you, you lying, you fucking lying. All of y'all going to jail. They, they, them, put, them put one handgun upon four people, bro. Even after the one man said, yo, yeah. it's mine. One handgun upon four people. So, all that nearly messed me up from getting my citizenship. Mm-hmm. Is it me, but me a citizen now, but yeah, man, that a, that a the lock-up part. Huh? That part there. How, how long were you locked for? How, how long we get locked up for? Mm-hmm. How long? I'm doing it for about, like, probably a close to a week. Okay. Yeah. And then now, when you came out, were you more focused on your music at this time? Where, like, again, remember, it seems like the story, it's like, this didn't really have anything to do with you. You just happened to be linking with the man and smoking weed. Yeah. And then got locked up. So when you came out now, did you start to focus back more on your music or what was your direction at this point here now? Music, man, start focus on music. Them times, so now I have no job because whatever go on. Mm-hmm. So I'm just, you know, some of them start focus on music 100%. Come on, gang, that was DeMarco telling his crazy story of the first time he got locked up in America, difficulty in our music. And you know how, how, how I overcame all that and how almost not being able to get his citizenship crazy story on gang yeah, that's why you let people are saying you have to watch your company you keep you know, keep, you know and watch your friends and running you know, man because you see you almost got locked up because someone else having a firearm it wasn't even him and they pin even though the person claimed that firearm they still the police still pin it on all five of them so it's crazy you have to watch your company you keep man but yeah man gang moving right along on the countdown next up we got massacre yeah man, Mr. Genocide, you see me, the, the boss of the genocide, one side young himself. They are giving us a preview on IG of his up and coming album, Generations of Kings, even giving us a date and he's finally announcing the name. Let's take a look. Uh, 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 uh. You have to believe it, you have to want it, you have to become the greatness. Yeah, man, gang, that was Masika speaking of his album. Really dope, really, really dope little mini documentary that he posted on IG there, giving you more details about his overall details about his stardom and his album, up and coming album. You see me, really dope trap. I like how dog I deal with it. The artwork seem fire, the little preview documentary seem fire. So it's only, you know, after such hits such as Limelight and what he had dropped um, at a tire, you know what I'm saying? People are really looking forward see what massacre have in store for, um, for us for this album want to know if i'm um, actually gonna do, outdo um 438 because you know last year he won uh, album of the year at the the um cmas you know for uh 438 so people really looking forward to see if he gonna do a repeat again this year with um with uh generation of kings which we are a massacre fan base and thing looking bro he might be able to do it because like I said, Limelight, Better Rock, you know what I'm saying? And such hits like that, man. I don't see no reason why this album shouldn't do numbers. You know what I'm saying? They're already off to a good pace. But my, yeah, man, gang, let me know the thing about these overall stories as well. As uh, let me know the thing about the Marco almost getting locked up, he's struggling with music and almost not getting citizenship. Let me know your thoughts on that as well. As, him, as well as the war with him and Fully Bad and Coyote and Sting. Let me know your thoughts as that comment section but let me know what you think about this entire episode if you may have this update let me know what you think about what's going on with massacre what's going on with the marco and all that good stuff gang you know what i'm saying and if you enjoy this update and you're still watching please consider give me a, a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button become part of the gang become part of the family man. We'll over here yeah, see me. i got more bangers coming but yeah man gang that was it man i uh, hope you all enjoy this till next time you don't know it's a boy john biscuit take care of yourself and each other love you guys i'm out me I always tell the truth, even when I lie.